Hello everybody, I'm Bruce Kyle. I'm an architect evangelist with Microsoft. I work with software companies in the United States. I'm here today with Ted Orham, who is the Director of European Operations for RepliWeb. Ted, tell us a little bit about what, you're, what you guys are doing. Uh, many thanks, and Bruce. Uh, well, RepliWeb just uh, celebrated their 10-year anniversary. Uh, we've been focusing on two main IT problems, uh, moving or synchronizing digital IT assets reliably and securely over the WAN and uh, providing automation and management over complex or mundane IT processes, basically selling software solutions directly to the enterprise. So uh, what are your products here on the, on the slide here? We talked about there's a, you guys help with deployment of assets into the web and under SharePoint. Yeah, uh, there are two main uh, products for the deployment, uh, the RepliWeb R1, RepliWeb deployment, and the ROS product. Uh, RepliWeb R1 is a classical synchronization deployment engine, which has specifically been used for web content deployment and managing the development lifecycle between dev to test and production. We have uh, about a 1,000 enterprise customers using this today. And about three years ago, many of them came to us and started asking us, uh, we really like what you're doing about management for deployment and process, but we're starting to use SharePoint as a development platform, as a portal, and we want that same functionality now within SharePoint. So we started working on and uh, released the ROS product for uh, managing those uh, development life cycles, uh, but specifically then for the SharePoint infrastructure. And we're now uh, just released a new version, and we're really excited about the, uh, the coming and the, the release of the 2010 SharePoint uh, product. Uh, and what that means for the market as a whole. Cool. How about a demo? Cool. Okay. So uh, let me just show you. Right. Let me just uh, explain specifically what we're looking at here. Uh, this is uh, the main ROS console itself, which is used uh, by administrators for management and uh, configuration of all the actual replication and deployment processes itself. Uh, and Basically, we're, we're coming from a very strong background of understanding the need for deployment itself. So we have a lot of functionality which uh, specifically uh, is aimed at deployment, but now with SharePoint as the underlying technology itself. So you can choose a site or a site collection, uh, and then there's a lot of functionality based around uh, what it is that I'm actually looking to deploy. Uh, we can offer include and exclude specifications, we can uh, base those based on uh, metadata as well as uh, content types within the filters itself, but also the content type looking at the structure of the galleries, whether or not you want to deploy workflows, the actual uh, the version history or the data itself. Uh, there's a lot of functionality here that's, uh, that's describing the actual deployment process itself. But then when we actually look at uh, what does it mean to the business about deployment, there's classic functionality to do with rollback. Uh, if someone makes a mistake, uh, you've accidentally deployed something out to an internet-facing website which has published everybody's home telephone numbers. Uh, you don't want to bring down the site by mistake. Uh, you don't know how to fix it, so let's just roll it back to a previous point in time. You know everything was right and everything was working before that. Yeah, that would be a good thing. <laughs> The, uh, the other main uh, functionality that we, we understand from, uh, from de deployment is, is, uh, is having a web UI, which is very useful for delegation of responsibility. Uh, I'm the, uh, the main admin on the, on the, uh, the server farm itself, uh, but you don't want to use up all your time for, uh, for deploying and updating sites. So you can delegate it to a specific users or group of users so that then they can have, they can gain control for their own deployment processes. And we have a, a, a newer functionality which also offers what we call a preview. Uh, the preview can then run what we have, a, a snapshot process that uh, compares the source and compares the target of, uh, of the, uh, prior to the deployment itself and then pauses and can actually show you a graphical, graphical interpretation of uh, what is about to happen. So uh, I'm a, an admin or I'm a, a developer and I want to check what am I about to do within this deployment. Am I accidentally going to delete something by mistake or am I actually going to override some processes? 
So it's a useful way for, uh, for delegating responsibility to the content owners, but also give them empowerment to see exactly what is about to happen uh, within the deployment process itself. Ted, what are you finding interesting about SharePoint 2010? Well, uh, when we first came into uh, the SharePoint uh, market with the products, we were just really uh, energized by the, the community feel and the, uh, the feedback we got from, from our customers. And 2010 is now another, uh, another wave of excitement and interest uh, that, uh, that what we can bring to the enterprise. And specifically, the, uh, once 2010 is now uh, seen as being a, a proper application, a proper platform for building out applications and, and building out web, websites, but also a linkage into uh, the BPOS and Azure uh, cloud uh, technologies. Uh, SharePoint is a, is a natural uh, uh, application for running in the cloud. Uh, you get all the benefits of, uh, of scalability, of, uh, of, of access and control for multiple users wherever they are uh, within, without the, outside of the network, uh, but you still now need to have control. Uh, so the internal enterprise wants to build their websites, build their solutions on their internal farms, <clears throat> and then their deployment process is then pushing that up to some uh, hosted uh, SharePoint environment in the cloud, in the BPOS, uh, in the Azure uh, solutions itself. So we're seeing a lot of interest for that, uh, really by some of the larger enterprise customers, that they can really gain benefits from having that, uh, that clouded uh, SharePoint environment. So, Ted, what is the main feature that you would recommend for developers? Um, a lot of times I get questions from software developers about their deployment and that a lot of people want to do these staging kinds of activities here. Uh, what kind of benefits do you offer for them? Well, the, the messaging we get a lot of the, uh, the, the problems people have is just setting up some new development environment. Uh, you can just simply then create some virtual machine, some simple sort of SharePoint in a box, but then you want to get it up to speed with all your uh, environment itself. And it's literally just a couple of clicks within the ROS product itself. We have here a solution deployment job itself, and I can browse directly into the solution store, and I can either just pick all the solutions within a solution store or highlight individual solutions that I want to, uh, to, to update into a uh, development environment. And as simple as that, I can, uh, I can update and uh, deploy all the solutions directly into that new uh, developer environment itself. And then for the content itself, the content would just be, again, a simple one-click definition of the, the full site or the site collection that I want to deploy. And even if that site doesn't exist, we will build it out and push all the content out to that new developer environment. So in the space of just two simple jobs, that new developer has come online and he has his, uh, his, his full uh, production system there ready for him to uh, build some new solution. So the whole point is that RepliWeb makes the, the job for developers uh, t to take something from their development machine up to the web or into the SharePoint site a, a lot easier. It, it makes it much simpler for, uh, for control and audit. Everybody knows exactly what's gone on on the system, and you can then get a proper output of who has deployed what when on the system uh, with, with reporting mechanisms behind that as well. Well, I appreciate your time today. Uh, we'll see you next time. Many thanks, Embrace.